Hey everyone, Devonian here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Budokai Tenkaichi 3 Dragon Ball Z. Now it's time for Ultimate Decisive Battle. Goku gains tremendous power, but Vegeta seems to even exceed that, as Piccolo would say. Alright, so basically, in this part of the story, Goku, after defeating the horrendous Saiyan Nappa, after defeating most of his friends, excluding Krillin and Gohan, Goku now has such a sight on Vegeta on his own. And this is where crap gets real in the series. Goku versus Vegeta. The rivalry that was destined to happen. Alright. There won't be any people or animals around here. Yup, you're right about that, Goku. <laughs> you should be pleased, a low class warrior like you. Let's go, Vegeta. You can you have nothing on Seldom me. Seldom gets to play with an elite like me. Whatever you say. Your crazy hair. All Saiyans are inspected for their combat skills at birth. What's your point? And you were thrown out with the rest of the tribe. Shut up! You have nothing on me. And that's how I wound up coming to Earth, right? I should be grateful. <laughs> Besides, with enough hard work, even a low class can surpass an elite. That's right. <laughs> You're quite a comedian. That's how it is in the business world, so why isn't it like that in the fighting world? Why not? Why not, Vegeta? Come on, Vegeta! You're nothing! Come on, Vegeta! That was just warm up. This is the warm up round. Okay. Yeah, this is still warm up round. Yeah, come on, Vegeta! Nothing on me! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, no, 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 no. There's nowhere near my best. Come on. Boom. Guard break. Pursuit change. Get a Kamehameha. Got nothing on me. Alright, so basically, as you know, we have to... Yeah, we got the KO Ken now. It might be our best weapon against Vegeta. And we had to take a nap out with it, so... Why not here? Boom. Boom. Ah! Maybe I should actually use regular commentary. Okay, so basically, as you all know, Go Goku and Vegeta were destined to fight, it seems. Because when Goku took a Nappa with that much ease, it was just way too easy. Look at we're basically even. You got nothing on me, told you. Injured. I've been injured by this low class scum. Scum? Now. I won't stand for it. I will not stand for this. Well, I won't stand for this either. I don't need this planet anymore. I'm going to demolish you and everyone else on Earth. Excuse me. There's absolutely no way you can stop my gallic. Oh yes, I can. The famous struggle. Kamehameha! You got nothing on me. No, 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 no. You're done. You're done. You're done. Yes, Vegeta. Come on, Vegeta. I can defeat you now, Vegeta. Come on, Vegeta. You haven't even given me a challenge. Show me your true power. I guess you don't have any true power now, do you? Nope. No, he does not. Gotta finish you, Vegeta, once and for all! Nice dodge there. Done. Okay, okay, times two! Oh, look at that dodge, Vegeta. No, it's not. Oh my god, Vegeta. Vegeta's going ham now. Yeah, Vegeta. Can't keep up my Kaioken. Nope. Kaioken! Wait, what? Vegeta, you can't do this. You didn't even have a tail to transform with. If you look closely as I was fighting ape. with him, a great ape monster? yeah, Goku. If you look closely as I was fighting with him, though, he had no tail, so I don't understand how he was able to transform. But whatever. Oh, that's great, Vegeta. Vegeta, oh, where'd you get all this health, Vegeta? Oh yeah. Oh man, Vegeta, you're not gonna take me out. I come, I've come too far. 
No, it's it's hard to time his uh his pursuit chains. Like, cause it's kind of a delay because of how slow he is at a grade A. So I gotta be careful. All right. So what you're basically gonna do is you wanna get some key up definitely because key is a big aspect in this battle because. Your regular moves aren't really gonna do much. He struggles with this could also give you an upper hand. I mean, I completely crushed him there. Like, I can just spam struggles and I can really beat him like that if I wanted to. But I need to get this one. You can either wait for the story sequence event or you can try to beat him on your own. But I don't recommend trying to beat him on your own. Like, look at this. Another struggle and. No, I'm not. Okay, it's this now. J, B, B, C, C, C. Ah, I missed one! That was actually the best I've ever done on one of those. Or you could just spam this. Destructo Disc! I said. Or you can go to dodge these. You want to just try to spam on Key Blast to get some, like, residual damage on him. Or just get something going, but. Honestly, I like going in head on! Cause like, if you can get a smash attack going, you're good. You're golden, man. But without a smash attack, you have nothing. Boom! Oh yeah, this combo though. That can always get you some nice damage. KO Ken can also help a lot because I'll already add to your added. Oh yeah, and if you can dodge that, uh oh. This is gonna level me. But yeah, you, now, there should be a story event sometime around here. Now, rushes don't work on him in this form. But Kamehameha with KO Ken works. I said... There we go, okay. Okay, it's not showing the aura, which is kind of weird. I've never seen that happen before, but whatever. But it's still giving me the effects of KO Ken. Okay, that's a glitch that I never knew about. So now you want to spam with Key Blast. Because or else he's gonna rape me, so. This is usually what happens. You usually get in like low health. We can beat him without. I swear there was a story event that happened though. Oh crap, gotta run. <laughs> Alright. Next thing I wanna do is get him in a struggle. I believe that gives him max power. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna dodge that? Kamehameha! And he dodged it, which is. Okay, yeah, you want to play hit and run with this guy. I really am down this low on health. I can usually do a lot better. I guess the LP curse finally wants to come into play after three years, nearly. Oh, yeah, and you can do that, too, if you want to mess with him. Get him going. A nice... You can always... Yeah, or you can just be like me and... I haven't really spammed supers. I'm just doing what I said, hit and run, if you want to, but... Yeah, you can just do that. I thought there was a story event that let you finish him off with the spirit bomb. But I guess I was wrong. Oh well. I almost thought I was done for then. Yeah, so did I actually Goku. I was kinda nervous about that one, but whatever. But yeah, that went better than expected. So don't worry. You should be able to beat him. Not that hard of a fight. You really don't have to let him transform because you can beat him before he transforms, I've done it before. But, in that case, he got the transform, because I gave him a bit too much leeway. But I just want to show off all the story events, that's why. But now we're about to actually start getting into the interesting sagas. So now we're done with that saga. Time for the Frieza saga in the next episode. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one kind of short, because it's kind of a long battle. And I want to keep it to where the, Sa the sagas are sort of intertwined with each other, not just like, oh, random Saiyan saga, and then random Frieza saga. So yeah, short episode today. Expect another episode later this week. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later and goodbye.